objective academic geology multiple choice questions with answers these are the collection from various previous cs question papers and hope useful for various competitive exams like csr net gate gsi civil services ongc and other exams so welcome to set 7 coming to the first question which one of the following is an artificial diamond choices are a bort b carbonado c graphite and d stishovite so here the correct answer is b carbonado this is also known as industrial diamond so whereas the other types are not like uh, suppose if you take C graphite it contains carbon and stishovite is a form of silica and bort it is also a type of uh, diamond but it is not artificial diamond. So correct answer is B carbonado. Coming to the second question kimberlites are associated with this was the question asked in civil services exam. Uh, so the choices are A subduction zone, B cratons, C mid oceanic ridges and D transform junction. So kimberlites are associated with the subduction zone. So A is the correct. Next question, smaltite is an ore mineral of, it's a very straight question, A, cobalt, B, manganese, C, copper, D, molybdenum. So, smaltite is an ore mineral of cobalt. Next question, the byproduct obtained in coal or gold field is, A, silver, B, molybdenum, C, arsenic, D, copper. So here the correct answer is B molybdenum. It is a byproduct in KGF polar gold field. Next question. The typical hydrothermal ore deposit is that of A gold, B copper, C mercury, D manganese. So most of the gold deposits are formed by the hydrothermal ore deposits. Next question, the factors responsible for the rise of magma are, so what are the factors which causes the rise of magma? Choices are A, release of pressure and radioactive heat, B, release of pressure only, C, radioactive heat only, so and D, none of these. So correct answer is A, it is uh, the release of pressure and radioactive heat, so A is the correct answer. Next question, orpiment is an ore mineral. This is also a very straight question. A, arsenic, B, tungsten, C, rubidium, D, molybdenum. So, orpiment is an ore mineral of arsenic. It is an arsenic sulphide. Next question. Magnesian mica phlogopite typically occurs in A, comatites, B, kimberlites, C, dunites and D, mongenites. So, this is uh, mica phlogopite. It is associated with the kimberlite. So, B is the correct answer. Coming to the ninth question, mica deposits in India occur in A. Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan, B. Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Gujarat, C. Bihar, Gujarat, Rajasthan and D. Bihar, Gujarat, Maharashtra. So, correct answer is mica deposits in India occur in Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and Rajasthan. Next question, the beds of which can be used as a marker bed? A. Bentonite, B. Coal, C. Gypsum, D. Limonite. Uh, sorry, D limestone. So, correct answer is A. Bentonite. It is can be used also marker bed. It is a type of uh, clay deposits. Next question. The role played by volatiles in magma. A. Release of volatiles lead to high viscosity. B. Release of volatiles lead to low viscosity. Release of volatiles has no effect on viscosity. And D. Addition of volatiles increases viscosity. So, the role played by the volatiles in magma is when the volatiles are released, it leads to high viscosity. Next question, oxidation of a lead zinc pyrite deposit will result in A, formation of laser deposit of pyrite, B, liberation of metals like uh, lead, zinc and iron, C, formation of residual deposit of zincite and D, formation of the deposit containing spalerite and galena. So, correct answer is B, liberation of metals like uh, lead, zinc and iron. Next question. When a portion of the country rock is traversed by a number of uh, very closely spaced and mutually interlinked cracks, the mineralization may occur conventionally along the available openings which leads to the development of uh, mineral deposits is known as A. Stock works, B. Ladder veins, C. Saddle reefs and D. Gash veins. So, correct answer is A. So, stock works, these are a type of uh, closely uh, traversed so that means these stock works they consist of a portion of the country rock which is traversed by a very closely spaced interlinked cracks and along which the mineralization may occur so it leads to the development of this type of uh, mineral deposits known as a stock works so a is the correct answer 
next question which of the following types of deposits is formed by high temperature fluids in low pressure environment and a shallow depth a telethermal b xenothermal c hypothermal d epithermal so correct answer is so b xenothermal it is a type of the deposit here which is formed by high temperature and low pressure environment and also at a shallow depth Next question. Among the following sulfides of ores of copper, the copper content is more in. So, which one of the following contains more copper content? A. Chalcopyrite. B. Chalcoside. C. Covellite. And D. Borlite. So, obviously, chalcoside contains the more copper content when compared to the other uh, sulfide ores. So, B is the correct answer. Next question. Sulfide mineralization in Delhi supergroup of rocks is localized along the A. Primary stratification planes, B, shear zones, C, northeast, uh, southwest tectonic lineament and the axial trace of the third generation of poles. So, generally the uh, in Delhi supergroup of rocks, sulphide mineralization, it will occur along the shear zones. So, B is the correct. Next question. Prospecting for minerals in seabeds is for polymetallic deposits of, this was a question asked in civil service exam 1993. Choices are A, tin, tungsten and nickel, B, Silver, zinc and copper, C, copper, zinc, nickel and D, copper, silver and nickel. So, correct answer is B, copper, zinc and nickel. Next question. Which one of the following uh, lithologic assemblages best represents the host rocks of uranium mineralization along the Singhum shear zones in Bihar? This was the question asked in the civil service exam preliminary 1993. A. Quartz chloride schist. B. Chloride schist, biotide schist. C. Felspathic schist and chloride schist. And D. Felspathic schist and biotide schist. So, correct answer is C. Felspathic schist and chloride schist. In this lithologic assemblage, it uh, well represents the host rock of the uranium mineralization along the Singhup shear zone in Bihar. Next question. The principal byproduct metals in the ores of Javar mines include A. Molybdenum, Cadmium and Silver B. Cadmium, Silver and Vanadium C. Zinc and Copper D. Lead, Zinc and Copper So, correct answer is Molybdenum, Cadmium and uh, Silver These are the byproduct metals in the ores of Javar mines In Udaipur Next question Which of the following metal associations is found in the Sargipali deposits of Orissa? A. Lead and Zinc B. Lead and Copper C. Zinc and Copper D. Lead, Zinc and Copper So, correct answer is A. Lead and Zinc So, these are uh, common uh, metals which can be found in association in Sargipali deposits of Orissa Hope you have enjoyed the questions and uh, see you in the next video Thank you